Sipping on the comma, what a 211 in my mind Persuaded by the devil, gripping on my black plastic now Search if I will look dead, I can hit with murder in my soul Swinging bending corners in the 67 L coat Hey everyone! In this video, I want to talk about the Senju clan, and something that has been asked a lot in Naruto. The Senju clan was definitely one of the strongest clan to exist in the series. During the times of the Warring States, they were the ones at the top, along with the Uchiha clan. They were so powerful that at that point, they were the only ones considered strong enough to deal with the Uchiha. If someone hired the Uchiha, the other would hire the Senju, and that's how these two became bitter rivals. But when Hashirama Senju, and Madara Uchiha came into power of their respective clans, things finally began to change. After countless fights, and losing a lot of people already, Hashirama proposed that the wars be stopped. Madara wasn't convinced at first, but he did agree to this after a lot of convincing. The two went on to create the first village to ever exist, and Madara Uchiha named it Konohagakure. The Senju, and they Uchiha settled there, and they were soon joined by countless other clans as well. As of now, there are no pure Senju clan members in the series, except for Tsunade Senju. The clan is officially said to be extinct, and that's something very strange. Now, the Uchiha were extinct as well. However, it was because Itachi massacred the whole clan in one night. What happened to the Senju? This was never really answered to us in the manga, or the anime. The best answer that I can come up with is that the Senju died in the First Great Ninja War. The reason behind this that Toborama Senju was the Hokage during that time period. After Hashirama died, it is known that Toborama put all the Uchiha to the Konoha police force, and he kept a tight watch on them this way. However, the Senju would become the force that he would primarily use in battle. That's how most of the Senju clan members died, along with Hashirama, and Toborama Senju themselves, who both died in the First Great Ninja War. What remaining Senju were at Konoha died during the Second Great Ninja War, like Nawaki did. There may be some who are still alive, but I don't think that they're ninjas. I hope we see some of them in Boruto, because they are so powerful and would be a great addition to the story.